The S&P 500 daily cloud chart shows a zigzag with ATR3 applied having a swing point to the downside at D wave down wave 4 and with ATR4 applied to zigzag you can see that it's on a slight upwards trajectory so this leads me to believe that when D wave down wave A prints and that will print on a tick higher than this high for today on the second that we will get the swing point to the downside there with a TR4 on so tomorrow on the third the high here will print the D wave down wave A with a tick higher than that high etc for each consecutive day and the sequential cluster by countdown is still on 10 countdown so if there's another down draft and exceeds this low that will print a by countdown 11 at that time at a tick lower hit than this low and price in the pre-market hours for the S&P 500 at 6.41 a.m. Central Time on the 2nd is 42.63. So price went back above the 12-month simple moving average and the weekly 65 EMA as per the previous video. And now it's above the 200 simple moving average in solid green and slightly below the 200 EMA in dash green at 4265.53. And price is between the falling conversion line and the going flat baseline. So right in between there again, this is familiar territory. And this ongoing supply line for today is at 4331.79 and a close above that will qualify it. Same thing with this demand line which is at 4104.05 for today and a close below that will qualify it. And the upper stark band is at 4255.32, so price in the pre-market hours is above that, as it is above the channel 3 high there. And the Bollinger band is up there in the cloud, so that's a goal to the upside, 4393.57, if price can continue pushing the envelope up and get this conversion line turned around for a cross over above the baseline that would be another good signal for that and the ATM fast trigger did make it above its oversold line as expected and the slow trigger up is slowly making its way to the oversold 25 let's see if it can get above that and the pressure up is still on the floor in the basement, negative 2. A long-term oversold up printed in cayenne color, 4103.78. And what that is telling you is that pressure up will stay down here in the basement, probably. The Shande momentum indicator is still below zero, but improving along with price, as you can see. So it still has a ways to go to get back to zero. And REI is poised to go above its overbought 40 line. DM1 is still struggling to get to the oversold line here, 40. And concerning is rock flattening out right underneath its oversold 97.5 line. So that's a concern there. It needs to cross above it along with DM1 as we've seen previously. And for right now the blue 
4 moving average is still below the red 9 moving average and they're both below the gold 18 moving average so still a concerning trend there until the 4 gets at least back above the red the S&P 500 weekly chart looking back to 2016 a ATM pullback alert up printed down here and that has never happened before at least looking back to 2016 the last time a pullback alert was printed was over here and that was a down alert and we certainly did get some downside for a month so this is one bright spot for an indication of continued upside I believe it's limited though and will eventually head back down to test the lows down to the 4100 area and then possibly the 3800 area and my mind will be changed on that with a tick higher than this high 4607.07 and all that updraft did was add to the volatility regime that we're in look at that several for a raise below the negative one negative volatility line for rock one and then several above positive one here for the positive volatility line at positive one so it closed yesterday at 1.05 and ATR2 has been staying above 50 so we're getting some large bars for the two-day ATR and the PPO extreme is still below zero at negative 0.850 it's come a long way from just about negative four here so it's a vast improvement but still below zero